Laverne Cox, born May 29, 1972, is an American actress and LGBT advocate. She rose to prominence with her role as Sophia Bursett on the Netflix series Orange is the New Black becoming the first transgender person to be nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award in an acting category, and the first to be nominated for an Emmy Award since composer Angela Morley in 1990.IN 2015. She won a Daytime Emmy Award in Outstanding Special Class Special as executive producer for Levern Cox Presence, the T-Word, making her the first trans woman to win the award.IN 2017. She became the first transgender person to play a transgender series regular on U.S. broadcast TV as Cameron Worth on CBS's Doubt. Cox appeared as a contestant on the first season of VH1's reality show I Want to Work for Diddy, and co-produced and co-hosted the VH1 makeover television series Transform Me. In April 2014, Cox was honored by GLAAD with its Stephen F. Kalzak Award for her work as an advocate for the transgender community. In June 2014, Cox became the first transgender person to appear on the cover of Time magazine. With her February 2018 cover on the South African edition, she is also the first openly transgender person to have a wax figure of herself at Madame Tussauds. Early life Cox was born in Mobile, Alabama, and was raised by a single mother and grandmother within the AME Zion Church. She has an identical twin brother, M. Lamar, who portrayed the pre-transitioning Sophia, as Marcus, in Orange is the New Black. Cox has stated that she attempted suicide at the age of 11, when she noticed that she had developed feelings for her male classmates, and had been bullied for several years for not acting. The way someone assigned male at birth was supposed to act. She is a graduate of the Alabama School of Fine Arts in Birmingham, Alabama where she studied creative writing before switching to dance. She then studied for two years at Indiana University Bloomington before transferring to Marymount Manhattan College in New York City, where she switched from dancing, specifically classical ballet, to acting. During her first season on Orange is the New Black, she was still appearing at a restaurant on the Lower East Side as a drag queen. Career Cox appeared as a contestant on the first season of I Want to Work for Diddy, Afterwards she was approached by VH1 about show ideas. From that came the makeover television series Transform Me, which made Cox the first African-American transgender person to produce and star in her own TV show. Both those shows were nominated for a GLAAD Media Award for Outstanding Reality Program. And when Diddy won in 2009, Cox accepted the award at the ceremony, giving a speech described by the San Francisco Sentinel as among the most poignant because reminded us how important it is to tell our stories. She has also acted in a number of TV shows and films, including Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, Bored to Death, and Musical Chairs. In 2013, Cox began her recurring role in the Netflix series Orange is the New Black as Sophia Bursett a trans woman sent to prison for credit card fraud. In that year, she stated, Sophia is written as a multidimensional character who the audience can really empathize with. All of the sudden they're empathizing with a real trans person. And for trans folks out there, who need to see representations of people who are like them and of their experiences, that's when it becomes really important. Cox's role in Orange is the New Black provides her a platform to speak on the rights of trans people. Cox joined a campaign in 2014 against the Phoenix, Arizona, law which allows police to arrest anyone suspected of manifesting prostitution, and which she feels targets transgender women of color, following the conviction of activists and transgender woman of color, Monica Jones. Cox stated, all over the country, trans women are targeted simply for being who they are. Laws like this manifestation law really support systematically the idea that girls like me, girls like me and Monica, are less than others in this country. Later that year the Sylvia Rivera Law Project released a video in which Cox read a letter from transgender inmate Cynthia China Blast, addressing common issues faced by trans inmates. But when Cox learned that Blast was found guilty of the 1993 rape and murder of a 13-year-old child, she wrote on her Tumblr, I was not aware of the charges for which she was convicted. If I had been aware of those charges, I would have never agreed to read the letter. Cox was featured in the annual Rebels issue of V in late 2014. For the issue, V asked celebrities and artists to nominate who they saw as their personal rebels, and Natasha Lyonne nominated Cox. Cox was also on the cover of the October 2014 issue of Essence magazine, along with actresses Alfred Woodard, 
Nicole Bihari, and Denai Giraira. On October 17, 2014, Laverne Cox presents The T-Word, an hour-long documentary executive produced and narrated by Cox, premiered on MTV and Logos simultaneously. That same year, Cox was featured on the fifth anniversary cover of CNDY magazine along with 13 other transgender women, Janet Mock, Carmen Carrera, Gina Rosero, Isis King, Giselle Alicia, Lena Ramos, Dina Marie, Nina Poon, Juliana Huxtable, Nikki Murray, Pechi D, Carmen's Travaganza, House of Stravaganza, and Yasmin Petty. In 2015, Cox won a Daytime Emmy Award and Outstanding Special Class Special as executive producer for Levin Cox Presence, the T-Word. This made Cox the first transgender woman to win a Daytime Emmy as an executive producer. As well, the T-Word is the first trans documentary to win a Daytime Emmy. That year Cox, among others, posed nude for the Allure Annual, Nudes Issue, becoming the first transgender actress to do so. Cox is the cover subject for the June 11, 2015, Totally Not Straight issue of Entertainment Weekly, the first issue of the magazine in 15 years to focus exclusively on gay, lesbian, and transgender entertainment. In June 2016, the Human Rights Campaign released a video in tribute to the victims of the Orlando nightclub shooting. In the video, Cox and others told the stories of the people killed there. In 2017, Cox began her role as transgender attorney Cameron Worth on Doubt on CBS. However, after only two episodes had aired, CBS announced that they were pulling the series from their schedule, leaving the future of the remaining unaired episodes uncertain. It was the first official cancellation of the 2016-17 season, following weak viewership. CBS later announced that the remaining 11 episodes would be broadcast on Saturday beginning July 1st. Cox was nominated in 2017 for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series for her role in Orange is the New Black. Also in 2017, Cox collaborated with the ACLU, Zachary Drucker, Molly Crabapple, and Kim Bokebinder in making a video about transgender history and resistance, called Time Marches Forward and So Do We, which Cox narrated. That year Cox became one of the four faces of the fall campaign for the Ivy Park line of clothing. In February 2019, Cox headlined the New York Fashion Week show for Eleven Honoré, a luxury e-retailer focused on plus-size designer fashion. Cox was featured in Taylor Swift's You Need to Calm Down music video, which was released June 17, 2019. She was one of 15 women chosen by guest editor Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, to appear on the cover of the September 2019 issue of British Vogue. This made Cox the first transgender woman to appear on the cover of British Vogue. In September 2019, Cox brought ACLU attorney Chase Strangio as her date to the 2019 Emmy Awards and carried a custom rainbow clutch featuring the phrases October 8th, Title VII, and Supreme Court. This action was in reference to the U.S. Supreme Court case R.G. and G.R. Harris Funeral Homes Incorporated v. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, in which Strangio was one of the lawyers representing Amy Stevens, a trans woman who was fired from her job at a funeral home. Cox and Strangio spoke to reporters on the red carpet about the upcoming court case. Cox executive produced the documentary Disclosure, Trans Lives on Screen, which premiered on Netflix on January 27, 2020. In May 2021, E! announced that Cox would become the host of Live from the Red Carpet starting in January 2022, replacing Juliana Rancic. In December 2021, she was cast in Netflix's dystopian fantasy film The Uglies directed by Mick G, based on a book of the same name by Scott Westerfeld. Impact. Cox has been noted by her LGBT peers, and many others, for being a trailblazer for the transgender community and has won numerous awards for her activist approach in spreading awareness. Her impact and prominence in the media has led to a growing conversation about transgender culture, specifically transgender women, and how being transgender intersects with one's race. She is the first transgender person to be on the cover of Time magazine, be nominated for a Primetime Emmy, and have a wax work in Madame Tussauds, as well as the first transgender woman to win a Daytime Emmy as an executive producer. I in May 2016, Cox was awarded an honorary doctorate from the New School in New York City for her progressive work in the fight for gender equality.